Hi everyone, it's Sherry. I hope that you're having a wonderful day. Have you ever wanted to make some of those cute little mini books you see everyone making, but you don't have a cinch book finding system? No problem. Stay tuned. Welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by at this exact moment because we're going to be doing something oh so useful, oh so magical. But before we do, thank you to all of my new subscribers and thank you to everyone who is supporting me in so many wonderful ways. So today I'm going to show you how we can make these beautiful three ring books without a cinch, but also how we can make it three rings, six rings, nine rings. And I think you're going to be surprised by what I use because I'm not going to be punching these holes individually. We are going to use something that all of us are familiar with in some form or fashion. So y'all know what time it is, time to make it. All right, so here is a closer look at our three by six inch flip top notepad. It is so easy to make and you can get that book binding look without having a book binder. And I'm going to show you how in just a minute. But when you flip it, I'm keeping mine in the very natural state. So I'm using some lightweight chipboard, but on the inside, I didn't even cover it, left it plain. And then I added 30 sheets of text weight paper, which is basically printer paper or copier paper so easy to do so let's go ahead and make this super sweet three by six three ring notebook without using a book binding system so here is what we're going to need to make it i have 30 sheets of two and seven eighths by five and seven eighths inch white paper which is just plain copier paper or printer paper then i have two pieces of lightweight chipboard i have already added the double-sided tape and this chipboard measures three by six. And then I have a scrap piece of cardstock. So this is a seven by 12 inch piece of scrap, but we're going to use it to cover these two pieces. And then we're going to be using one of these three ring joints. If you have been with my channel for a while, you have seen me use these on several occasions. They are a great way to get that three ring look on your project. And you can double or triple these to get three, six, or nine rings in a row. So I'm going to take my scrap paper and the first thing I'm going to do is just go ahead and cover my chipboard. And my chipboard again measures three by six and I have two pieces. So I'll take this piece and we're just going to put it down I'll take this piece and we're going to put it down. And then I'm going to use my big old spatula to get a good stick. Let's take our finger blade, scissors, X-Acto knife, whatever you're using to cut, and we're just going to trim out our chipboard pieces. So now that I have this covered, I'm just going to use my big old spatula to go along the edges and make sure I have everything nice and smooth. And so now we have these two pieces that we'll be using as our cover, front and back. So here is the secret to how I'm going to punch my holes and have them beautifully aligned without using a cinch book binding system. You guys know that I have a cinch. I love my cinch. I use it all the time. But I know that some of you don't have a cinch. Cinches can cost upwards of $100 unless you can find one on sale. So you might not want to make that investment. And every time I use my cinch, I get a lot of comments from those of you who don't have a cinch, but you want to be able to make the project. Well, here is a way that you can make some of the projects without having a cinch, but just know that the wires or the coils that we use on our cinch won't work with this particular 
um, system that I'm using, but we can find alternatives where this will work. So what I did was I went on the hunt and I purposely made a purchase for something that I ordinarily really don't need, but I thought I would share it with you guys because it might help some of you who want to get that book binding look without a cinch. And what I have here is a Work Lion A5 hole punch and it's adjustable. So I'm holding it up so that you can see the punches are here and here. So you have three here, three here. And this is made so that you can make your own A5 notebook or inserts for an A5 um, notebook system or planning system that you might be using. But I thought, well, let me try this because it might actually work for what I need. So I ordered one and I've been playing around with it. And this is how it looks on this side. So it's going to be hard to see, but you do have the opportunity to adjust how these are placed. So you see, I now have the ability to get six holes punched at once. So I am just going to slide this in and punch. And you see, I have those six holes. So if you wanted to, you could line it up and keep punching your holes. And as you keep lining it up on the inside, you can punch as many holes as you want. Or if you really wanted to have your holes separated the way that we're going to do for our project, you just slide them back out. So it really is a nice little alternative to be able to do some of the projects that we might want to do on the channel. But remember, the cinch coils and the cinch wires will not work with the hole spacing on this particular punch, but it will work with these little rings here. But you can probably find coils and wires that will work with this hole spacing. I just haven't done the homework on it yet. I might do that in another video, but here is how we do this. So what I like about this punch is it does have a little ruler on the outside if you need more space to be able to get in and punch your item. But for us, we really don't need it. So I am going to take my piece and when I put it in, I'm basically going to be looking at it to make sure that I have it pretty centered. The only thing about this is you don't get that close to exact placement that you do get with the cinch, but as long as you're looking at it and you're eyeballing it, you can get pretty close. So I'm going to punch and you can see how easy that was to punch. So we punch one facing up and we're going to take the other one, just like we would with the cinch, put it in, and then I'm just going to slide it over just a little bit and punch. Hopefully I've gotten these fairly close. So you can see that not only did I get them fairly close, but boy, are those nicely aligned. So I am going to take my papers. So I am just going to break them down into mini stacks because I can't put the whole stack in there. And so with this, all I'm going to do is eyeball. And when I'm eyeballing, I am just eyeballing to try to get it as close to center as possible. I am going to take this one, lay it on top, and I just want to make sure that nothing's sticking over here, here, or here, and we're good. So I am going to place some more in. And punch. And I'll keep doing that until I have them all punched. And while I'm punching these guys, I just want to make sure that I say this is non-sponsored. I actually paid for this myself because I wanted to try to find something that would help. And this is also not me trying to get you to go out and make a purchase so that I can get a commission. I am doing this so that hopefully you'll have some alternatives, some low cost alternatives on being able to make some of these gorgeous little books that you might see from time to time. And this machine, I believe it is about $18 for this punch. It's not one of those things that you must have. And if you don't have a use for it, don't order it. So now I'm just going to take all of my pieces and get them stacked. And you can see that I got pretty close on my placement on my holes. 
So it really is a very easy system to use. I'm a fan of the cinch because you can punch through a whole bunch of papers at once. Very easy to line up. This is also easy to line up because we're eyeballing, but the cinch will punch all the holes that I need at once. And on this one, I would probably have to do my holes in stages, but that's okay because we're still getting the same result. So on these, they actually close like that and we open them. And when I put them in, I am just going to put them in from the back so that that bar is in the back. And then we're just going to put that last one through. And guys, if this is something that you think you might be interested in, please do your homework. Go out, look at the links, read the description, pay attention to everything that they say about these products and make sure that you're doing your own due diligence. I will share things with you that I know, but make sure that for me, or for any other content creator, influencer, whatever you want to call us, that you do your homework before you make a purchase. Because sometimes what I'm using might work for me, but it might not be for you. So make sure that you're doing your research. So now I'm just going to close these. And now we have another beautiful notebook. One thing that I do want to mention about these rings is that they are very flexible and they do go this way and this way. And you might get them in the mail and you'll think, oh, these are defective. They aren't, they're meant to move with your project. So make sure that when you're putting them in your project, you line them up and you put them in. So when you see it like this, there's nothing wrong with the ring. When I first ordered these a couple of years ago, I was actually reading the reviews and there were so many people saying that when they got theirs, they weren't straight or the pieces were going in different directions. They were turned upside down and they got some that looked like this. There's nothing wrong with this. Just do to it what is meant to be done to it. And that is flexibility. Just shape it into how you want it to go on your project, just as I've done here and just as I have done here. So I hope that you like this really easy way that you can make your own three ring notebooks using a hole punch. If you don't have a cinch, don't worry about it because as you just saw, we're able to get that look of multiple holes using this. So guys, I hope that you have enjoyed this fun, quick and easy way that we can make flip top three ring mini notebooks using a hole punch. If you have, please hit the like button. If you are not a subscriber to my channel, I would love to have you join this amazing online crafting family. You guys, as always, please be safe, be kind, be the reason someone smiles today. Happy crafting, and we'll chat later. Bye.